Welcome to Beira, dear travelers. I'm your friendly tourist guide, and I'm thrilled to show you around this fascinating city, the second largest in Mozambique. We'll embark on an exciting journey filled with history, culture, and plenty of laughter. So, fasten your seatbelts, and let's get started. Our first stop is the Praca do Municipio, the heart of Beira, and a great starting point to learn about the city's history. Here you'll find the impressive Palacio do Governo, an elegant colonial era building that once housed the Portuguese administration during their rule. Oh, speaking of the past, did you know Beira's name originates from the Portuguese term Beiramar, which means by the sea. Clever, right? Next up, we'll take a leisurely stroll to the Casa Portugal, a historic building with unique architecture. It's now an art gallery, showcasing the works of talented local artists. Take a moment to admire their creativity, and maybe even pick up a lovely souvenir. Now, let's explore the local market. Fire a popular. Here, you'll be captivated by the vibrant colors, exotic spices, and lively atmosphere. Keep an eye out for the traditional, Capulana, fabrics, Mozambique's signature textile. They come in an array of patterns, and trust me, there's one for every taste and occasion. After immersing ourselves in the market's hustle and bustle, we'll head to Beira Cathedral, or Nossa Senhora de Lourdes, a beautiful neo-Gothic church that stands as a symbol of the city's faith and resilience. Marvel at its intricate architecture and take a moment for reflection. Feeling hungry? Great. Let's treat our taste buds to some mouth-watering Mozambican cuisine at a local. Tosca. Don't be shy to try the Matapa. A dish made of cassava leaves and coconut, and the spicy. Peri-peri. Chicken. Oh, and keep an eye out for the Shima. A porridge-like dish that might be your new comfort food. Next, let's indulge in some beach vibes at Makuti Beach. The palm trees, sandy shore, and the Indian Ocean's gentle waves create the perfect backdrop for relaxation. Just remember, the sea here is lovely, but it's best to swim closer to the shore due to the currents. Safety first, you know. Time for a little history mixed with a dash of fun. We'll visit the Museum of Regional History, where you'll uncover the city's past, from its pre-colonial roots to the post-independence era. And here's a funny fact. Beira was the birthplace of famous soccer players, including one known for his legendary goal celebrations. They say his dance moves were almost as smooth as his skills on the field. Our last stop for the day is the Mantaroka Shipwreck, a mysterious yet picturesque site along the coast. The remains of this ship tell a fascinating story of maritime history and make for a great photo opportunity. Just be careful not to get too close. You wouldn't want to become the next shipwreck tale. That wraps up our Beira adventure. I hope you've enjoyed exploring the city's rich heritage, savoring its delectable cuisine, and basking in the beauty of its coastal charm. Remember, Beira welcomes you with open arms whenever you want to come back for more laughter, learning, and delightful memories. Safe travels.